Look at this form. This might look like any other form to you, but to me, it's the key to happiness inside of my client work. This form is part of a system, a system that allows me to get my work done more efficiently. It ends those emails that are layered with different colored responses from multiple people. It stops scope creep, so I'm not providing more work than what has been agreed to with the client. It's allowed me to productize our services and I'm more excited about growing our business than ever before. Best of all, our clients love it as well. What is this service? This is fucking cool. You're really good at software, Dave. The tool is called Mini Requests, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works as well as what I wish it did better. So this is a great fit for anybody who's providing services. Now I'm doing it with websites, but you could certainly use this tool for something like graphic design or even content writing. To get started, you just add your services inside of Mini Requests as products, and then you link to them from your website so that people can check out and become customers. When creating your products, you can set limits like a number of requests per month or how many concurrent requests people can make. Each service that you add has its own request form for your clients to fill out. That way you can customize the form so that it's specific to the service you're providing. When your customers log in, everything has your branding. They can file a new request, purchase additional services from you, or even just update their credit card information. So that's how many requests works in a nutshell. Now, obviously I can go into exhaustive detail about how each feature works, but I think it's more beneficial to do a before and after because I've been using this software with our clients for the last two months and it's been a absolute great experience. Before many requests, our process was inefficient. We would create a custom proposal for each prospect, even though we were really only selling two or three different products. So with many requests, we productize our business and things are going really well. With our old process, after the client agreed to the proposal, we'd sign them up for WaveApps reoccurring billing. WaveApps is a popular tool that a lot of businesses use successfully, but there wasn't a very good client experience in terms of once people have entered their credit card information, there's no way for them to update it. So we would get a notification when a payment had failed, and then we'd have to track down the client, try to get them to update it, and every single time it was a problem. It was just they couldn't get the link to work right or something wasn't happening in an efficient manner. So now with many requests, if something fails, we get a notification, but so does the client. They can log in, update their own card, no problem. That right there is worth its weight in gold. But what makes it even better is that now their requests are all displayed for them because the way we do website management is each plan gets a set number of support requests per month. And often these teams are large. They might have five or six people working on a particular website and all of those people are welcome to send in support requests that we will fix for them. But if they don't know about each other, those 10 requests that they might've paid for can get eaten up rather quickly. We didn't have a dashboard or any real easy transparent way to show people how many requests were available. So many requests really, really solved that problem in a hurry for us and made life a lot easier. Now, scope creep is less of a thing because we don't feel compelled to do extra work just because we don't wanna upset people and say, hey, you've already used all of your credits for the month. You've gotta either pay for more or wait till the month rolls over. All right, so that's how it transformed our business, but I still wanna talk about some of my favorite features. And the first feature I want to highlight is the ability to customize the client portal. You can add your own logo, including variants for light and dark backgrounds, as well as adding your primary color, which functions as a brand color. This presents your brand with professionalism. And you know, you probably have a very legit business, so you want your customers to feel that way when they go to interact with you. But the portal doesn't just stop there with some light branding, you can do a ton of other things. Like I've gone ahead and integrated Rewardful. So we have an affiliate program so that people can actually promote our services and we get new customers and other people can earn money from their referrals. I've also added links right to the dashboard to our knowledge base or important YouTube videos to help our clients get started. And speaking of getting started, you can add an onboarding sequence so that when people sign up, they get logged in for the first time, they know exactly what to expect and what to do next. And I absolutely love this announcements feature, which allows you to set timed announcements that will expire automatically and display whenever someone logs into the dashboard. They can also be sent out via email, although I prefer to just have them display in the dashboard. Your mileage may vary. 
I mentioned the rewardful integration. There's a ton of other third-party integrations, some of which you're probably going to love, like the ability to add a dashboard from like Google Data Studio or services like ClickUp so that you can show a dashboard on a per client basis so it can be customized to a specific client. They can see important information for their business. Maybe you're doing SEO. You wanna show them an SEO dashboard. Boom, you can grab that information right out of Data Studio and display it inside of their client portal. What is more professional than that? I have actually sent quite a few few messages already to the team over at Mini Request. I do want to point out that this is a funded business. They are part of the Calm Fund, which is uh, a venture capital fund. So they've got funding. It seems like a very secure business. And the founders have been super responsive to my multiple emails requesting they update Mini Requests in a certain direction. So here are my feature requests for Mini Requests. In the intake form, uh, or the request form. What I'd love to see is the ability for more customization of images. So the first thing that's obvious is just inline images. Right now, you can attach images to your request, but it doesn't show up in the conversation. That's the first thing that needs to be updated. Then I'd love for there to be markup on those images. So people can go and say, hey, make this button bigger, or how about change this color from blue to red? You get the idea. It'd be really a, a great design tool to have that built right into the request form. The next service that I'd love to see, kind of piggybacking on that, is a widget that I could embed on my client websites. So if they had an issue, I could have them click where they want their website updated, maybe when they're logged in as an administrator, and then that request would be automatically transmitted over to many requests and we could get it taken care of for them straight away. One last feature request related to having customers make requests is to allow them to email you. Go full on help desk allow people to create new requests via email. Right now they've got to log into the portal and fill out the form there, which is great. I like that because then you can make sure you get the important data that you want, but it sure would be nice to just let people fire off emails as well. Maybe make that an optional thing, but I think I'd like to see that as well as my customers. I know they would. The only other feature that I'd like to see added is the ability to switch between plans. Right now, a customer could log into our portal and they could add a new service. So they could sign up for maybe a second care plan if they wanted to, but they couldn't switch from a small care plan to a bigger care plan. They would simply have both running concurrently. Then I could log into Stripe and I could change things there on my end and have it resync in many requests, but it sure would be nice to have, you know, a prorated switch between plans. That would be a really great feature. Hopefully they implement that in version two. So that is my look at mini requests. As you can tell, I am definitely a fan. Go check it out if you do a service-based business. They got plans starting as low as 49 bucks a month, all the way up to $249, but they never take a cut of your sales, which is really, really cool. Now I may or may not have a promotional code down below, so go check that out. Uh, click my link, that will be a referral link, so it helps me out here at the channel if you click that before buying. Hope you found this video helpful. If you got any questions about mini requests, leave them in the comments down below. Hello, and I'll see you in the next one.